Hi y'all, thanks so much for joining me today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Amina and I help you break up with sugar and make up with health. So I'm gonna answer a question that I get fairly frequently. Dr. Goodwin, what do you eat, you know? And so today I'm gonna talk about <clears throat> what I eat on a busy call day, right? So on those days where you're really up and about, burning a lot of energy because of all the mental work and you need some good food. So we're gonna talk about what I eat today. Do you all wanna hear what I eat on a regular basis? Um, on a regular, sorry, busy on a busy call day? If so, give a like um, below. All right, so let's dive right in. We're gonna use the example of today. So basically, I started my day. My breakfast was small, but it was, you know, it was rich, right? So I always have bulletproof coffee. We make that at home, and I, because I'm, it's a busy day, so I tend to bring it because I don't like to rush when I eat. I actually take a pretty, take, I take my time to eat. So bulletproof coffee, which is basically um, brewed coffee in a French press, and then we add butter to it, um, grass-fed butter. We also add MCT oil. And we actually add uh, collagen as well, um, just to get some extra protein and just to give the, the coffee a little thicker taste, right? Of course, there's no sugar whatsoever in that coffee or any other sweetener for that matter. So I had that, and then I have these cookies that I make. Um, these are super low sugar, less than one teaspoon in one cookie of added sugar. Um, it's a recipe that I'm kind of trying to develop still, but basically this is such a rich cookie that like look at this You can see it's not even I didn't even eat half This was the second one was supposed to be for dessert, but it's so rich that I, I just didn't I, I didn't feel full so this cookie has coconut cream. It has almond um, No, actually this one had pecan butter when I don't have pecan butter I put almond butter it has um, coconut oil. It has lots of pecans. It has um, these fermented chocolate um, raw chocolate uh, pieces and um, a couple other things eggs of course and so this a very rich cookie it's pretty thick if you can see here and so I had one of these with my bulletproof coffee I meant to have two because I wanted to make sure I had enough to keep me until maybe one o'clock or so until after I was done with my rounds but I just had one because I felt pretty good after that yesterday I had two of them um, I had that normally you know, I would have like banana bread, this banana nut bread, almond flour banana nut bread that I made, but I didn't have that today, just a cookie. And that really kept me until about one o'clock. And so then for lunch, at one, of course, I brought my lunch because I always bring my lunch. Um, like I've been doing that for years and years and years and years. I like literally always bring my lunch. And so today I had some baked sweet potato, cut in cubes, cubes. Um, I had some, uh, some lentils kind of stewed lentils and also i had some stir fried vegetables like a mix of vegetables that i had cut up over the weekend carrots cabbage cauliflower broccoli um, portobello mushrooms just to mix stir fried them quickly this morning for about three four minutes to have them nice and crisp and so that's what i had in my food bowl which i actually already put away so i won't take that out and then I attempted to have, so, you know, I know I've said before, dessert shouldn't really be a regular everyday thing, but my, my meals, you know, I, they're not like, because I'm vegetarian, which I'm not promoting vegetarianism because I think there's nothing wrong with meat, but I just happen to grow up as a vegetarian. So sometimes I feel like maybe it's not as bulky, not as heavy on the protein side. And so because I had this nut, this cookie, which I know is rich with sort of the nut proteins as nuts and, you know, nut butter and you know egg and so on so I had the other one which I tried to have as dessert but I just had less than half now after lunch sometimes for my dessert I have nuts like raw nuts or I might have it as a mid-afternoon snack raw nuts and so already this afternoon <clears throat> I had a bunch of cashews so when I'm on call I always make sure that I have nuts in my cupboard the cupboard of my desk so this has been since the start of this week and so I just kind of had actually quite a few cashews cashews are more like a more starchy nut than others but I had these and then for depending on how I feel the mood I'm in I also have pecans right here I keep all these things in my office right and then I also have almonds right but today I just had the cashews and I had a piece of this cookie and um, I feel pretty good I just don't feel hungry at all right and then after lunch, I always, I love tea. So I always have, I have another mug that I bring and I make my tea at work. So basically years ago, I bought this um, kettle, right? Just bought it from off Amazon, a little kettle, a little portable kettle. And so I always get water, heat my water. I have keep tea that I take it from a big container and put it in a smaller container here. 
and I cleaned tea um, at work, dried loose tea. And this one was actually jasmine green tea. I have a little, you know, spoon in it and I dip it out and I have my, where are my tea bags? I have my tea bags, you know, these paper tea bags. And so I put some tea in the tea bag and I make my little tea bag and I put it in my um, in my, my mug. This keeps things really hot for a long time. And yeah, last bit of tea, so nice. Jasmine green tea, lovely. Of course, no added sugar, no sweetener, no, no milk, nothing, right? So basically that's what I've had so far today and I feel pretty good. You know, the thing about nuts, you know, they're so filling that you you just don't feel hungry for a few hours after so i have my food i have the nuts for some extra protein extra healthy fat and then i'm good now i do have these two dates right dates just plain medjool dates for times like you know occasionally you might just feel like oh no i need something a little sweet and sometimes pecans is another separate packet of pecans i might have one date right because they're just so sweet and they're huge as if you can see actually i think two dates one date has about probably six seed or four grams sorry yeah four, four teaspoons of sugar in one date like that's what it works out to be these dates are so sweet so i have those there these have been in my office for a couple for a few weeks actually because they're just sort of there hanging out just in case one day i feel like i need like i don't know a little something something and because i'm not gonna have like plain like sugar it, it'll have to be something that gives me collateral benefits and dates are actually pretty rich in fiber and they're also pretty rich in antioxidants in fact a serving of dates has the same amount of antioxidants as a cup of blueberries and you know blueberries are super antioxidant rich so that's that and then of course i have my bottle which i have to carry water and i bring this full in the mornings and then i refill it you know one to two times in the day depending on how thirsty i get during the day so that's basically it tonight when we go home i forget what's on our menu it might be um well we had sardines last night i'm not even sure what we're having tonight but we'll have something that we prepare at home tonight so that's basically what i've had to eat already on this busy call day and uh, you know i'll maybe i'll have some more nuts tonight but i kind of doubt it but it just depends on what i feel so there's the answer to the question what i eat on a busy day at work right so if you like this video you can give it a like and um you know any questions just let me know and what i do want to know from you all is to answer to this question today did you carry your lunch to work or did you get it from a restaurant or work cafeteria you can share that in the comments below and i will talk to you all again have a great thursday